Yeah, I mean, it most definitely. Put an obvious word on it, but is that the way it works out? Yeah, it most definitely makes the day go great and awesome because we see the love in the stadium and we all see that everybody appreciates what Coach Lipo is doing with the organization and we just go gotta we just gotta keep progressing. Is it crazy that you guys have reached this point this quickly in Coach Lipo's jumping? No, nah, it ain't crazy at all. We all work for it in our in our off season, like hard work for it, like every day going at it, going at it, going at it. And even the off days we had got Making sure we get in there and doing some extra. Okay. Congratulations. Appreciate Thank you. you. Lonnie, you got another chance to show off your animated celebration with a sack. What was that like in front of a, a sellout crowd? <laughs> it felt good. I know the crowd felt it, and I know they was waiting on me to get rowdy and yell with the sack and everything like that. I, I wanted it to happen earlier, but as long as it came, it just came. So it was great. No, I wish I could tell you. Appreciate you. You obviously were here week one, but the energy in the stadium, obviously being a sellout this time, how much different does it feel for you guys on the field when it's a full-blown sellout, everyone in their seats? It was most definitely a difference because we know what everybody else in the stadium was looking for. We just had to really focus in and do our jobs and do our 111s every play and every down, make sure we compete the way we train and make sure we use what we use in practice in the game. When you see Daniel going on a run like that where he's trucking guys and spinning and uh-huh. doing all stuff like that, like, you're obviously watching, but like, what goes through your head when, when he starts going uh, I knew that he, I knew he was gonna do that this year because it was one time during our uh, we had a camp scrimmage. He shook me, and that's rare. So I'm like, and that's rare. So I'm like, yeah, because the last person who shook me was I would say David Montgomery in high school, and he's in the NFL now. So. Yeah, you high shot. We gonna see you soon. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Hey, Lonnie, what do you notice from being on campus and just around town? The buzz with KU football. Uh, that's most definitely a big buzz. I would say the reason I say that because the fans show much so show so much love. Even when we hit three and zero, it was a lot of static on campus and. Football players can actually, the football players here can actually feel good about walking to class and getting dapped up by people who are saying good job because nobody wants to be 2-10 and 10 like the last year. But as you can see, those guys have put in the work, and I joined them to put in and add in the work too, and we just keep going on and our progress. What's it feel like when you come out of the tunnel and see a packed house? Uh, it feels good because I never ran out of tunnel before. <laughs> that feels good, and just seeing a packed house, just seeing everybody coming to root for the team I'm on, because at Model School, we didn't have that many fans that would come out and root, root for us. But yeah, here, packed house, packed the booth, baby. Four in a row now. For sure. Lonnie, where, where does your defense go from here? I mean, say it again? Your defense as a whole, where do you guys go from here? Straight to the film room, I would say. Straight to the film room after here. Making sure we fix those plays that we messed up on. I know I messed up on a few plays, and I'm pretty sure the other guys messed up on a few plays. Keep correcting those mental errors as we go on and keep building up, keep building up. When you look at the attention the offense gets, the production the offense has, if you guys can raise your game defensively and they stay there, what's the ceiling for this team? I don't think there is a ceiling. Yeah. We're shooting right through it, skyrocketing. Yeah. We're going to be a great team if we get all those middle areas accomplished and we all boost up on defense and making sure we're doing our 111, getting our job done, like I previously said, and just adding on to our game. Is there any area other than the mental errors that you think defense needs to really tighten up? Or is that the top priority right now? Uh, I say that's the top priority right now because the guys know what they're doing out there. Like, if we were in practice and they called a play, the guys know exactly what they're doing. They just have to do it within that moment. Sure. Hey, is your dad getting paid?